Hey, what's going on guys? Today's video, we are working on a Silverado truck and we are replacing the starter. I'm underneath the vehicle already. We have two jack stands on the frame of the vehicle, which are right there and over there. And of course your three point jack right there to make sure that it does not come down. Always have safety points. We see our starter here. You have your transmission case right here that's blocking that bolt a little bit. So you're going to have to slip on the socket. It actually slips on, but it's a little bit tight because of the transmission casing. This one is pretty simple. I would recommend spraying it with WD-40 and let it sit for about five minutes. And what we actually had to do is we took our socket set with extension and took a hammer in a precise position, hammered the end of the socket wrench, and that loosened it up a little bit. And then we just put some good muscle in. It. You'll actually hear a pop, depends how hard your bolts are just sealed on there. Obviously lefty loosey, counterclockwise is loosen when you're looking up at it. So we're going to go ahead and pull this bolt here and this bolt right there. And then we're going to go ahead and pull this blue electrical wire going into the case right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and hand the camera off and we'll go ahead and show you the easiest way to slip this down and out of the vehicle. All right guys, the electrical wire, the easiest way to do it, it's kind of a pain in the butt, get a flathead screwdriver, pop it in the back underneath the hole here, and you're just gonna put a little bit of pressure on it and it releases this black tab and then just pull straight back. I don't have any hands on the starter right now. The bolts are out, but it's inside the casing. All right, guys, I'm gonna make your lives a whole lot simpler. No one shows you actually how they removed it because it's a pain in the butt. We actually just pushed the fender out of the way, took the wheel off, of course. You pop off these little things all over the fender inside. Again, we just did the left half and the top, pushed it over. Now you have a clear shot of the starter here right there that little pain in the butt bolt is a 13 mil once that bolt is off then this right here slides off then this whole entire wire is out of your way we also remove the dip stick bolt which is attached right here that gives you a little bit more flex on the dip stick coming down on the back of it so once i remove that nut we're going to slip this off that way and then we're gonna be able to have more clearance room to push the starter towards the engine, dropping it down. That is a pain in the butt, I will forewarn you. All right, we got the stubborn thing down. Again, once we removed the nut right there on that bolt, we pushed that pesky wire out of the way. The dipstick had a very little flex to it, which is right there. And then we brought it down. Again, that bolt to that black wire is 13 mil. And then right here on the top portion is gonna be a very small wire right here. That is an eight millimeter that will be attached. Hold it with one hand, grab your eight mil, remove the small eight mil bolt right there off of the top one right above that one, which is right there. Then the whole entire starter will come down. And like all of you guys, unfortunately, a lot of the videos aren't showing you that step, how to do that again. Take the extra time, remove the tire, remove the side fender plastic. You're able to get your hand in there easy. Remove that black cable that's attached to the starter on the engine side of it. Once you are able to get two hands on it after that black cable's out, it dumps out a lot easier. Take the extra 20 minutes prep time and it will save you probably at least an hour trying to wrestle that thing out. Reattach everything the way it was. Reattach the eight mil on the new one before you slip it up. And then once it's slipped in there, then go ahead and reattach the same way you disconnected the 13 mil on the black wire shove it back in. As I'm editing the video, I wanna show you one tip about how to put it back in. This caused us a lot of grief as well. This is just a stock image online, but it was late last night and we didn't film this portion. So once we got the front in, again, we already had our eight mil connected up on top right there. We pretty much lined it up and we're trying to put it back in the way it was, but it was getting stuck. We didn't have the 13 mil battery connector on right here quite yet. And remember, pull off your old heat shield that goes on the top right here before you turn in your old one for the core charge. So this is how my buddy put it in after fighting with it, no joke, for probably over an hour trying to put the thing back in. We, of course, I call this side the torpedo side. So we put in the torpedo side, lined it up. It wasn't until he was pushing it 
in and actually use one hand from the back as he's trying to shove it in. The hand and pressure from the back as he was guiding it in from the right hand side. So putting his right hand and then his left hand was putting the pressure on the back or whatever way you feel comfortable with and it was able to slide right in but it took a lot of grunt work on his part. For some reason we were struggling with that so that's another tip for you to be able to put it back in properly. It's up to you if you want to go ahead and try to connect the 13 mil while hanging down so you can get a better socket on it. I actually had a pivot socket 13 on it which means that the socket went this way broke off this way I was able to get an extension on there with my socket wrench tighten that up real nicely it's up to you you can get a little bit more creative with it if you want or not alrighty guys make sure you hit that subscribe button we're gonna be working on cars we're gonna be fixing stuff for you hit that subscribe button and look in the description box below I'll have some parts and tools linked up what we used you guys have a great day take care we'll see you on the next one <music>